Hello, mate. What was I looking for when I moved to London? It's a good question. There's not really any place around that's as big as London, so it's always quite interesting to think about, oh, what would it be like to live in a place that's fucking huge? Well, there was a lot of opportunity, culture. To delve into other cultures, it's often kind of a way to escape your own background. I came to London not really looking for anything, but rather running away from something. When I left my mum at the airport, I told myself not to look back. To feel like I've actually progressed, to feel like I've taken some incredible leap in moving this far away from my family, from my friends. Make a name for myself, to become a professional actor. When I came to London, I was looking for a story. I suppose if you want to take a deeper look at it, acting is what makes me the happiest. I feel like it's my, my purpose. Pardon the cliche, but I think, it's, I think it's what I was born to do. But then again, I guess if you really keep pushing that, before London was a story and now London's a reality. I'm following my passions and my dreams. I quite like the fact that you can be anonymous here. You can like walk down the street and not worry about knowing anyone because there's that many people. When I was looking to move to London, London was kind of like this shining beam of opportunity and people. I'd never lived somewhere where there was that much energy circulating at such a fast pace. I remember being really scared, not sure whether I wanted to move or how I would even make that happen. Like, this can't be it. There must be more to life than this. No matter where you are in your life, like wherever you're from, breaking out of your bubble is the thing that is going to give you purpose, starting a journey that is solely yours. Have you found it? Yeah, I guess so. Probably not in the ways I was expecting. I have found all these opportunities and I'm now living a life that is completely incomparable to my old one. I now do things that I never thought would be possible for me and people never thought would be possible for me. It's always given something new. It's given me a lot more that I ever could have expected in the first place. So I guess that's what I found. I found a little bit more of myself in a way that I really didn't expect. 11 years ago, before I came here, I wouldn't identify as a feminist. And now it's just unthinkable not to identify as one, to, to understand what it means for me and, and to embody it, to live it. People express themselves more. They wear whatever they want to wear. They have their own personalities. What I really want was to have my own and not feel judged. And I found a community, something I never had back home. As a queer teen, I thought part of myself, my queerness had to be hidden, tucked away in a pocket, something I could only whisper about. And it felt like putting down a heavy backpack after a long journey, getting into comfortable slippers. What it means to be Brazilian. Now I own that, now I'm proud of that. I've also lost a few things by having moved to London, <laughs> but you haven't asked about that. I think I'm still looking for maybe the ideal that I had in mind. I haven't found um, that thing yet, but then again, it's like I'm literally 22. I'm just comparing myself to other people who already found that thing. I don't think it's like a definite end. I think it's indefinite. Like I will continue to learn, meet people, experience different things. So I'm still looking and I'll continue to look.